Hey, what is up disc golfers? Today on Iceberg TV, I want to talk about Simon Lazat's new putter that's coming out, the Pixel. Simon has currently been using the anodes ever since switching to MVP, and he has been pretty loyal and stuck to them, although it seems like he's not completely in love with them. He's had his ups and downs with these putters, but when it's time for Simon to make a putt, when it cut when he's you know coming down the stretch and he needs to make a putt to stay in the game, he seems to find a way to make them with the anode. But I think it's time that Simon Lazat is going to be saying goodbye to the anode. If he hasn't already done so, it's going to happen very soon. And that's because of what I assume is the brand new Simon Line disc. We have the Pixel. Um, the Pixel is very similar to the Discmania P1X. I have the dimensions of the P1X pulled up here, and then we'll compare them to the dimensions of the Pixel. So we have a 21.2 centimeter diameter. We have a 21.2 centimeter diameter. The height of the P1X, 2.0. Um, we have 2.1, so marginally different. Rim depth, 1.5. Rim depth, 1.4. Again, very marginally different. Rim thickness, 1 centimeter. Rim thickness, 1 centimeter. Inside rim diameter, 19.1 and 19.0. So these two discs are extremely similar, and I think the P1X was one of Simon Lazat's most favorite discs with Discmania, and he had that one specific blue with the white Discmania stamp that was famously known as the P1 Ace. And I think the baseline pixel is going to replace the P1 Ace. And I think this is really exciting for a lot of fans that don't love the current MVP putter lineup. Um, I, cur I currently really enjoy actually putting with the Atom. I've been messing around with it quite a bit, and I think the Atom would have been a sufficient disc for the slot, but obviously Simon needs to come out with Simon line discs, so why use the Atom when you can make a P1X? So the P1X, um, I'll just play one of my favorite P1X clips here. Simon Lazat playing with Casey and Marky Chap. Let's see what he's able to do. Another shorty. Ace run. Pitbull. Simon's favorite. This is very important. Just stay perfect. Yeah. What hole is it? Eight. Eight. Two to go. To keep the perfect round going, Laza P1X, P1 Ace, Flash. Let's go. Just exactly what That he was does. sick, Simon. Oh, he loves it. I love it. We have a witness. First nice shot. shot. That's the P1 Ace, finally. That's the P1 Ace, baby. The P1 Ace. That's how you do it if the dogs don't. Yeah, that oh, is yeah. how to stop your yeah. dog from stealing your disc. Just throw it in the basket. I'm All right. So, Simon obviously has hit so many aces with that exact disc. The P1X P1 Ace was a super understable Disc Mania P1X. I think we're going to see a very similar style of shot out of the pixel from Simon Lazat. He's. Simon's. What's one thing that's really fun about watching him play? is Simon will bag the same disc as long as he doesn't lose it. He'll just keep the same discs in his bag for years upon years. So a few years from now, I bet you Simon, as long as he doesn't lose it, is going to be throwing the same pixel he throws in day one. Again, as long as he doesn't lose it, it's just going to get flippier and flippier and flippier and flippier. And Simon's just going to hit more and more and more crazy lines with it. These crazy, huge, high, late turning hyzer flips. And I'm super excited to see Simon have a disc like this in his bag because those are some of the most fun Simon lines that he throws is these touchy putter shots. Um, people put a lot of emphasis on Lazat's power, but what I find most impressive is Lazat's finesse with flippy, slow discs and mid ranges. But anyway, I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comment section down below. I know I'm excited to try Pixel. I actually put with P1X for a very long time and then they started to become harder to find. So, yeah, anyway, you guys are watching Iceberg TV. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below, and take care.